Operation Beautify and Organize begins now. decided where to put the board yet. I really have two options. I could put it on the wall over here, which makes sense because it's kind of where all the wires are, or I could put it on this section right here, and maybe I could use it for both this tank and the next tank. I don't know. I'm gonna flip this around, show you both options, and you just make a mental note of which one you think looks best, and let's see if my aesthetic sense matches yours or not. Option one, mount it against the wall over there. That way, this section over here, you can kind of see the sump still, but here's kind of what it looks like. Option two, mount it to the edge of the stand. I'd probably raise it up a little bit. This MDLE control board, this is the basic one, uh, it's really heavy duty, and it's made of a kind of PVC, I think. It drills really easily, but I still just don't want to screw it up. So I'm gonna do a mock-up first. One more thing, if you could do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Big decision now is really where to mount these trip light outlets, right? These are expensive. They're like 25 to 30 bucks a piece, but I probably own six of them now because these individually controlled outlets here are, are fantastic, right? The question for me is I have two of them. Do I put them both on the front or do I only need to be able to access like some of my equipment so that I can put some of them on the back? But I also just purchased this. There's four of them. I actually own eight of them now, and they're my new absolute favorite aquarium controller. This four pack costs $24, like with tax and shipping. <laughs> you might be wondering what they do. Let me show you what they do and why they're so amazing. Okay, ready? Watch, watch, watch right here, ready? <laughs> Six bucks. Not only can you turn them on and off on Wi-Fi, but you can set them on a schedule. All they are are these super tiny smart outlets that you can just turn on and off with your phone and you can also set them on like schedules and timers. So I'm gonna use these for like my lights, my protein skimmer, my refugium light. So this really makes me wonder, you know, how many of these outlets, how many of my trip lights do I actually need to have on the front versus on the back? I am almost done, but I want to install some LED lights around the tank, around the sump, and around the new control board, which is right behind me, to really make everything pop, especially at nighttime. So let me go install those lights, and then we'll come back.
took 14 hours, but I think it turned out just really clean and really rather fantastic. So it's time for the mandatory before and after picks. If you could do us a favor, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Beautify and Organize is complete. Happy briefing, everyone.